Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. So, let's get right on into it. Uh, Nanako, what are you doing tonight? Um, watching the- just watching the TV? Alright, well, if, even if we're not ready to advance, we should probably spend yeah. time with Nanako. So that in the, in the future, we can advance successfully. Any moment with Nanako's precious game? Come on. That's just redundant saying it that way. Uh, hi there. Hey. <laughs> Where would the manners come from? I was okay with it. It's a nice change. Well, um... I didn't know you guys were my senpai. Uh, thanks a bunch. Don't mention it, man. We did what we had to. Though, I don't really remember what happened. Yeah. There's some things we'd like you to tell us about. If you remember, that is. First off, who was that boy you met with? Chie going straight for the hard-hitting answers. I really don't know much about him. I mean, I've only met him twice. Yeah, but you walked home from school with him. What did you guys talk about? Uh, well, he just asked stuff like uh, if anything different happened lately. Really? I don't know where my head was at. When I came to my senses, I blurted out that I wanted to see him again. To a guy. I, uh, I don't really get it myself. All right. Girls are so loud and obnoxious, so, you know, I, I really don't like dealing with them. Uh, Chie, Yukiko, please don't take offense to that. You guys are a lot more laid back. So, uh, I started thinking, what if I'm the type who never gets interested in girls? And I couldn't accept that, so I kept spinning around and around in my head. Well, I can understand the part about feeling more relaxed around dudes. How are you feeling lately, though, Kanji? Like, are you feeling better now? Take your time to rest and everything? I'm fine now. Okay, thank God. I mean, it was all in my head when you get down to it. I was the one shutting out that stuff. That's a very mature way to think about it, actually. I'm impressed. So, uh, our family's run a textile shop for generations. Oh, yeah, you, you already knew that. Yeah, we've been there. My parents are kind of weird. They, they say stuff like, Dyes are one with the universe, and cloth is alive. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's the kind of house I grew up in. So I've been interested in sewing and stuff since I was a kid. I think that's a really good skill, personally, but... The second I say stuff like that, people look at me funny. Girls make fun of me, the people in the neighborhood treat me like I'm some zoo animal. So I was sick of everything. I can see why. And when I got to my senses, I was running wild. Shit, what is with me today? I'm going on and on about myself. No, it's important. Please, continue. Forget all that. Man, I must look really lame right now. You're actually pretty cool, Kanji. Uh, more so than I thought. I definitely thought you were going to beat us up. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I've never talked about any of this stuff before. Guess I never had anyone to tell it to. Well, now you do. Friends? I guess I wasn't really afraid of girls. I was just scared of people in general. But all that's behind me. Wow, I'm surprised. You're a good kid. Yeah, he is, Chie. Uh, don't, don't call me a good kid. It's true. <laughs> no need to get embarrassed. You're a big guy. You can take it. 
Hey, is there anything you remember after you ran into us the second time? Here we go. Here's what we need to know. You know, after you chased us away and said you were going to take us down. Thankfully that didn't come to pass. Huh? Uh, I went home. I was gonna sleep it off in my room. Wait, I, I think someone came... To your house? Who was it? Uh, well, it was just a feeling I had. I don't know if anyone actually came. It's important. Like, did someone actually come? Other than that, I remember some weird, dark entrance thing. Okay. And when I woke up, I was laid out on the floor of that sauna place. Hmm. A dark entrance. Is this sparking anything with you, Yukiko? Could it have been a TV? Huh? Well, now that you mention it, maybe so. All right. Uh, why do you ask? Uh, maybe easier to show you than try to explain. Oh, no reason. I was just wondering. Did the police ask you anything? Well, my mom had called the cops to look for me, so they questioned me for a while. I told them exactly what I just told you. And they looked at me like I was crazy. Well, we're not looking at, at you like you're crazy, so don't worry about that. So, like, are you guys playing detective or something? Uh, you could say that. Mm, well, something like that. Anything I can do to help? Uh, yes, please. If there's some bastard out there who put me through this, I ain't gonna rest until I make him pay. And that's the kind of energy we need. Seriously? Awesome. You'd make a great addition to our team. What do you say, leader? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. I'll put my life on the line for you guys. Maybe drop the sir thing. That's a little it's a little too much for me. I'll do my best. Yes. Our group has gained one more. No longer are we a red tag group of four. We're actually starting to look like a pretty formidable force here. Well, if we're going to welcome aboard a new member... Should we take him to our special headquarters? Uh, yes. We're still calling it that? That's the best name ever, Chie. What? What's that? Just wait till you see it, Kanji. It'll blow your mind. Come on, let's go. Well, I might have been overselling it. Were you listening to what we were saying? Well, actually, I might have been overselling it to anybody else, but Kanji seems to be loving it. So, sweet. Huh? Well, I was listening. Ah, <laughs> close your mouth. Mm. So, uh, what, so someone's killing people with the TV? What, what, what is he, beating them to death? Um, not quite. No, they weren't being beaten with a TV. Were you listening at all? <laughs> oh, don't worry. He'll understand once he sees the place with his own eyes. Yeah, yeah, we'll learn you a thing, Kanji. But the way it happened was just the same as with Yukiko. Which is good. Because that means it's the same thing, well, at least these two times. The killer kidnapped him first, then threw him into the TV! Yeah, it's scary. That show's been pretty crazy lately, huh? Yeah, I keep wondering who'll show up next. Oh, they don't even know the half of it. I knew before I came on that he'd be the next one to appear. Wait. What's that dude's name? That first year who used to be in a biker gang? That first year who's sitting about five feet from you and listening to you? 
Who the hell do you think was next? <laughs> His name is Kanji Tatsumi. And he wasn't in a biker gang. He's the one who beat the shit out of those leathered up pansies. So who are you, dipshits? Kanji. <laughs> Boring. Well, you taught them a thing. Kinda. I can't stand it. Sure, they have no idea it's related to the murders, but still, how can they talk about their schoolmate like that? Kids, GA. They're like onlookers at a car crash. As long as it's not happening to them, they're dying to see. Nice metaphor, Yosuke. That's actually surprisingly accurate. Damn, this sucks. We don't even know who's going to be targeted anymore. This case disproved our assumption that all the victims are female. Well, unless Kanji has anything to tell us. What was the other thing we thought they had in common? People involved in the initial case about Miss Yamano are the targets. How about that? Kanji, did you know Miss Yamano at all? I don't know if we know. I mean, unless Kanji's mother had anything to do with Miss Yamano. I guess she did because of the scarf. I guess it's too early to say if we're wrong about that one. Yeah, because, I mean, Kanji's mom made the scarf for Miss Yamano. Just like Yukiko's mom was kind of, like, relating with Miss Yamano at the inn. But that announcer was involved with their mothers, not them. What better revenge than take out the children? You guys saying you don't have any clues? Well, it's kind of looking that way, Kanji. Well, listen up, because I got something big. What's that? Okay, when I made my comeback at school today, there was an annoying brat hanging around. Turns out, he was snooping around about senpais and my disappearance. So I took this from him. I don't know what the hell this all is, though. Uh, and you took it anyway? Well, let's not knock it till we've seen it, I guess. Um... I guess let's just read them from the top down? Okay, so Misuzu Hiragi had a number one song. I hear her album sales have gone up since the incident. That kind of made sense, isn't that normally how it goes? Any publicity is good publicity, right? If she knows about it and she's using it to sell her songs, that's pretty sketchy. She has an alibi, though. I don't think this involves her. Let's move on. All right, so next is the female announcer ranking. Hmm. Lower middle? That doesn't seem to stand out at all. Does this mean she wasn't that well known until the incident? I guess so. It's just this guy's personal rankings, nothing important. What does the next one say? Oh, it's not official, okay. Well, list of TV programs, what's on here? What are these dates? April 11th? Does that sound familiar, Yosuke? It sounds familiar to me. Oh, they found the first body on the day school started, so that would have been the 12th. The 11th is the day before that. Uh-huh. I know I can't forget the day Saki Senpai's body was found. That was the 15th. Okay. So then what are these dates? And what does list of TV programs mean? What's Saki Konishi, April 13th? Wasn't that the day she was on the news? I see. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah. I saw that, too. They were interviewing her because she found the first body. Exactly. Which was the day after Miss Yamano died. And this part... Mayumi Yamano, April 11th. Is that the day she appeared on TV, too? I don't specifically remember this one. Oh, 
She was on. I remember now. That was when the affair hit the news. Okay. Okay. I think we have something here. Hey, wait a sec. Yukiko, didn't you get interviewed too? She did. She did. When did that interview air? I think it was when I was absent from school. Um, when was that? When was that? It was the day after I met you at the embankment. I had my kimono on. Do you remember? I do remember, actually. Yes, I do. I went shopping that day, so... April 15th. And right after that, I was kidnapped. Kanji, what about the television special you were on? That they didn't mask him very well at all. Oh, yeah, that thing. Damn show made my mom go ape shit on me and... When was it, Kanji? The date! Just tell us the date! Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it wasn't too long before I met you guys. Okay. It's true, then. Everyone was on TV before they disappeared. I think that's the best correlation we have so far. So you think the killer's targeting people he sees on TV? I was so caught up with the news reports about the incidents that I didn't notice at all. It can't be a coincidence. It just can't be. Now that I think about it, when the killer failed with Yukiko, they moved to Kanji instead of trying again. Maybe this being on TV thing is some stupid rule that the killer's following. Seems like a semi-random way to choose victims. That's right. The killer could have targeted the same victim again. I think there's a definite connection here between the kidnappings and the TV broadcasts. The victims weren't just involved with the first case. They were also shown on the mass media. Yes. That must be it. It's all we have so far. But if so, what's the motive? Why kill someone just because they were on TV? Some people just kill for fun. Damn it. Now that I think about it, we haven't gotten anywhere. Well, that's not completely true. Why can't I be smarter? Dude, why beat yourself up? I think you guys are awesome. I mean, you guys noticed what was happening to me and even risked your lives to stop it. That's more than enough. You rescued me, too. We may not have solved the mystery, but we've saved two people already. That's two human lives, Yosuke. That's a lot. They're right. That's true, but... No buts. What's more, everyone's deduction that Kanji-kun might be next was right on the nose. I know! We were so close! But we still saved him. Huh? You knew before it happened? Damn. I wish you guys come a little earlier then. Well, we did, but you were trying to beat us up, remember? Well, if we know this much, I think we can outsmart the killer next time. Then it's a countdown to their arrest. Yeah, I mean, we have more information, and we accurately predicted the next victim last time. Who's to say we can't do it again? Don't forget, it's always possible that Kanji-kun was the last target. Well, that would be the best possible scenario, I think. Or so we hope. We've thwarted them twice already. Here's hoping the killers learn their lesson by now. Anyways, let's keep checking the Midnight Channel like usual when it rains. Of course. That reminds me! The school campout's next week! I hope it doesn't rain. Yeah, that's the time we don't want it to rain. It's no fun camping in the rain. It's for both the first year and second year students, so we'll see you there, Kanji-kun. Seriously? School, huh? What a drag. Kanji, you should shape up. You should go to school. Yo, mind if I order another grilled steak? I say it's on Yosuke. I'm gonna finish this one up while the next one's on the grill. We're, uh, we're going Dutch on the meal, right? Well, let's get going. I think our new teammate needs to meet Mr. Bear. Oh my god, Kanji hasn't met Teddy. Huh? What's up? Sorry, we're gonna have to 86 the state, Kanji. Fine, whatever. 
I'll go for something cheap like ramen. Or whatever numbers you say to nix something. We're gonna have to 69 the state con. No, that's not right at all. Wait, or should I get a takoyaki set? Man, I can't decide. None of it. What? Sorry, you can have it once we get back, but uh, we have a. Uh, you might call it another world to show you. And it's one inhabitant. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it, I kind of remember this thing. Do you mean the world or the bear? Didn't think it was a bear, though. Hey, why is it a bear? Ask him, not us. I don't know. Me neither. I've been wondering, too. It, it's kind of cute. You should sew him. M mind if I pet you? No touching allowed, mister! What? Why not? <laughs> hey, don't give me any lip, bear! <laughs> uh, by the way, I, I've been wondering. You were kidnapped too, right, Yukiko-senpai? Huh? Yeah, it wasn't long before you. So, like, that means you came out to everyone too? Th that's uh... What was it like for senpai... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Uh-huh. My jaw! I'll be more gentle next time. Next time? <laughs> More... gentle? What a pair of dimwits. That's kinda interesting to watch. Oh yeah! Here's a present from me, Kanji! It's to celebrate you joining the team! Ah, oh, so these are the glasses you guys told me about. Go on. Hurry and put them on. Huh? Sure, but... Hang on, aren't these different from everyone else's? Well, it's just because you're special. Just put them on. It, it looks perfect on you. <laughs> I'm with Yukiko. I think it's perfect. Damn, dude, it looks great on you. I had a normal pair ready for you, but Yuki-chan insisted on this one. She wouldn't budge. What are you talking about? This is completely normal. Yeah, real funny, you smartass. Why are you taking it out on me? Lighten up, Kanji. Give me that. took my spare pair. Kanji, you must really like those. <laughs> oh, oh, my sides. Aww. This is the real one. It wasn't easy getting it to you. Obviously. Why the hell did you bother making a spare if it's more useless crap? Damn it. I'll get you guys for this someday. <laughs> oh, Kanji. Oh, Kanji. I think he should stick with the other pair. I think it was better, personally. Welcome back. Thanks. I have had one heck of a day. So let's harvest our vegetables before we go to bed. This is the uh, returned icon, right? As someone so aptly put in the comments, I'm afraid I don't remember who it was. However, it would have been amazing they look good. if they were called Returnips. Whoever said that, you are right. You are definitely right. However, uh, don't Great think- vegetables. 
Sorry, Dojima, I didn't mean to talk over you there. However, I don't think the vegetable puns are over. There are plenty left for you to see. And hopefully those guys will- those puns will make you proud. Uh, let's grow some cabbage, I think. Ooh, I probably should have grown some crack wheat. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. Cabbage will still be useful. Well, the Hiranya cabbage, as I recall. I'm excited to see them come in. You're not the only one. I'm probably gonna be the only one eating them. I'm the only one who has to worry about poison and fear and all that kind of stuff. That's not really something you- you guys don't have to worry about getting poisoned. Lucky you. Uh, so, next time on Let's Play Persona 4 Golden, uh, we will continue our life. Uh, the school camping trip is coming up in about a week. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Hopefully it does not rain. So, until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.